Hello everybody! Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I was um, up in Green Bay this weekend. So my stepdaughter Stephanie bid on a party house by Lambeau Field, which is our Green Bay Packers Stadium. And um, she won it at a benefit. And the whole family, all the kids and their kids, everybody went up there this weekend and stayed in this great big, well, it wasn't, well, I guess it was pretty big, but it didn't look real big from the outside. Beautiful, beautiful home in Green Bay. We had so much fun. Homemade pizzas and um, homemade right from scratch with the crust and everything. They were just amazing. And yes, if Bev is watching, she's my coach. I ate a little pizza. <laughs> it was really, really good. So, um, yeah. And it was really cold here, too. It was cold and windy and kind of, eh, the weather wasn't very good. But um, it's getting better. It's starting to warm up. So I have hope that it's going to start getting warmer here in Wisconsin. I'm going to bring everybody up on my screen here so that I can see your comments coming in a little better. Hi, Diana. Hi, Becky. Okay, let's see if my computer is going to cooperate with me. We've got Rose and Regine and Beth. Beth from Green Bay. Beth, I was just there. Yay. Mary's watching. Okay, I think I got myself set up here good. If I miss some of your questions, please don't hesitate to ask them again until I see them. Um, if you've ever done something like this, it's really hard to keep your mind focused on what you're doing, to watch your screen and watch for comments, to all these things. There's all these things going on. So I appreciate your patience and um, your help. <laughs> and please share that video. Um, you can click on that share button right now. Sharing the video really helps me out. I appreciate it. Please make sure that you're sharing it to your own page. Don't share it to my VIP page if you're in there. Don't share it to my personal page. Share it to your own page. That's what really helps me the most. Hi Kay, hi Cindy, hi Janet, Angela. Welcome, thank you guys so much for the share. Mary's watching. So, today is the last day of celebration, right? Woo! It has been a phenomenal celebration season, and I think that's pretty evident by some of the products that we ran out of really quickly. So just, um, oh, somebody's calling me. That's not going to happen. <laughs> um, just a little bit on that. Um, my company is doing very well, and they're doing so much better than ever anticipated. And that's why we ran out of some of, some of the products. Um, it just couldn't have been predicted that that would happen. So hopefully next year we'll have a better handle on it. And um, hopefully sales will be as good next year as they were this year. Hi, Wendy, Sue, Debbie, Kathy, Paula. Thank you. Thank you for the share. Um, so... We still have a few things left. There's still time to get that last minute order in if you needed to get some more. Um, I always like to kind of go after the consumables so that I have enough. And we have the um, Butterfly Botanical Paper. That's still available. And I know that I like to have several packs. And Becky said she just had to place another order so she could get the paper. There you go, Becky. Becky is just living proof that you need more paper. Um, and then I also wanted to remind you of the celebration coordination. That is ending today, too. So this awesome little stamp set called More Than Words. And then we have the matching punch. Now, I haven't heard anything about the matching punch carrying over, so I don't know if that's gonna carry over to the big catalog or not. We don't have our carryover list yet, so as soon as I get that, I'll share it with you. But um, we do have that punch. We still have the framelits available to go with the Painted Seasons. And as far as I know, the Painted Seasons Designer Series paper is still available too, and you guys have seen me make a ton of really cute, cute, cute projects with it. So um, if you wanted to get 
put in that last order and get some more free celebration stuff. You know, it's the best time to stock up on your card stock. Get the new in color. Or no, no, let me stop there. The retiring in color reinkers, reinkers card stock, embellishments, um, marker pack. The 2017-2019 in colors are retiring. And let me see. I'm going to grab my catalog here. Hang on. It's under my desk. I have some shelving on both sides under my tabletop. So that's where I disappear to from time to time. I also have a space heater under there that helps keep me warm. I, I get really cold. Um, especially, I don't know. I, I think my, my windows are drafty. We need new windows. So... Um, Cindy says she sees that a lot of people take their 12 by 12 paper and cut them into six by sixes. You know, Cindy, if you were going to sell it at like, maybe you're going to have a rummage sale or something and sell it at your sale. Uh, I would not cut my 12 by 12 paper into six by sixes just from my own personal stash. Because what if I decided to make like a 3D item that needed something that was 12 inches long? Then everything's six by six. So, you know, I don't know. Um, that's a personal preference, but I wouldn't cut up my 12 by 12. Unless you have a six by six project you're going to use it on. So, I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of weird that way. Um, anyways, <laughs> I wanted to let you know that the in colors that are retiring... Are these right here the powder pink pink lemon lime twist tranquil tide berry burst and fresh fig all retiring now Stampin' Up! puts out a retirement list at the beginning of May and as soon as that list goes out cardstock re-inkers ink pads markers all these things they like people just like buy them up like crazy and then they're gone and I always have somebody, one of my customers that says, Kelly, I just tried to order re-inkers for my in-color pads and I can't get them. No, you can't get them. You have to get them now. <laughs> because once they're gone, they're gone. When they hit that retirement list, we're not going to reorder stuff. Um, that would be crazy. So anyways, I want you to know, these colors, all retiring. And I don't even know what I'm going to do without Lemon Lime Twist and Berry Burst. Yeah. Because I love, those are my two, my two of my very favorite colors. So, um, let's see, who just, okay. Yeah, Cindy says she does scrapbooking too and she agrees she would not cut hers down to six by six. I just really wouldn't either. Um, yeah, and Kylie does say to cut it down to six by six. And the reason why she says that is because people don't use their, their paper. I mean, they just don't. And... It's a personal preference if you want to do that. So that's a good question, though, and thank you. Love it, chop it, love it, chop it to pieces. Yeah, I know. And I agree. Stop hoarding the paper. Use it. Um, I completely agree with stop hoarding the paper. Use it. Hi, Jan. Hey, Jan. Um, I just sent you a message tonight. Oh, okay. Never mind. She just answered me. She, Jan is the one who won the three-month um, paper pumpkin subscription. So, oh. So excited for her to get that. Okay, let me move this out of my way. Um, let's see, what do I have going on? Oh, I want to thank Lois for reminding me about the in colors retiring because Lois is the one who said something about it, and then I went, "Oh, I gotta remember to tell everybody that." Um, what's happening this week? Tomorrow, I have the Color Fusers blog hop. We are hopping. And our colors that we're going to be creating with are Mango Melody, Pineapple Punch, Melon Mambo, and Very Vanilla. So wish me luck. <laughs> when I get done with this Facebook Live, I have to start creating that and get that ready to go. I think it goes live at 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning. Let me look here. 9 a.m. on my blog. Be there. Be square. <laughs> um, yeah, Charlene says she's really sad to see the Lemon Lime Twist go. And I, I agree. And you know... We do have a color that's similar, and it's Granny Apple Green. It's a little bit darker green color, but at least we're not left without that bright, brilliant green. I really love that color, too. So, um, what else is happening this weekend, or this week? Um, I don't think there's a lot happening. I will have a tip video on Wednesday for you, 
And I think I'm going to do another card with the horse stamp set. Um, I've been getting a lot of interesting comments with that and I'm kind of um, obsessed with it like do you guys get obsessed with some of your products like sometimes it's a color combination and I can't stop myself from using it sometimes it's just a stamp set that I'm like oh that was so cool now I need to make something else and oh now I thought of something else but I think I'm gonna do a really cool technique on Wednesday so make sure you um, come back and check that out Kathy says no greens what does that mean Kathy we still have lots of greens um, we have all kinds of greens. We have granny apple green. We have garden green. I don't know. We have some more greens, don't we? Let me look. Um, shaded spruce, call me clover, mossy meadow. We have lots of greens. Don't worry. So, um, oh, back to my technique. So I'll have a, I think I'll have a really cool technique coming out using that horse set. And then somebody else asked me a question. Well, they didn't really ask me a question. They kind of made a comment that they really liked the horse cards that I've made, but they just don't know who they'd send a horse card to. Who would you send a frog card to? You would send a horse card to anybody. It's not about the person liking horses. It's about the beautiful card that you have spent time making and that you're sending to a friend. They don't care. There's a horse on it, a cow on it, a frog on it, a flower on it. Make some beautiful cards. The horse set is really cool. Make cool cards with the horse set. Send it to anybody. You don't need somebody who's like into horses. Because and it just popped into my head like, well, who's into frogs? <laughs> but the frog set is so stinking adorable, right? <laughs> okay, so Barbara just asked, what time is my class on Wednesday? It's not a class. It's just a post that I'll have on my blog. So... I'll have a blog post up. My blog posts usually go up at 6.30 a.m. And you'll find that at www.stampabove.com. And um, it's, it's just a post on my blog where I will um, make a card. I'll have a video showing you how to make a card. And um, it'll be a cool technique. And I'm not going to tell you what it is because, like, the suspense of it, right? <laughs> okay. Um... Thank you guys for sharing my video. I really do appreciate it. Um, Jenna says she doesn't like horses, but guess what? I love a card with a horse on it, right? Exactly. It's not about the horses. And, and the horse set, Barbara says, makes great guy cards, and it really does. So um, if you like the horse set, don't let the thought of who are you going to send it to um, restrict you from getting the horse set if you want it, because you can send that horse cards to anybody. So enough about the horses. I'm not using the horses tonight, but I am using the frog because I just had to get one more frog card in. And you're going to love it. It's a cool technique, stinking adorable. Make sure you guys are clicking on that um, like button that's right under my video. Click on the like button. Click on the share button. Share, share, share. If you're watching later on Facebook, you can do the same thing. Click the like button. Click on the share button. If you're watching later on YouTube, please share that video on YouTube. I so appreciate it. There's a bell up at the top. Click on that bell. That helps me out. It's all in the weirdo, um, geeky tech stuff that we don't understand. But it has to do a lot to do with um, algorithms. And it's just a techie thing. And it really helps me. And I appreciate it. Okay. So, um... Let's see, I said, oh, I forgot to check this. So I know I had more than 150 shares. So um, I forgot to check the exact number, but last week on my Facebook Live, I said that I would give away an online class to um, one lucky person that would win a drawing if I got 150 shares or more. And I know I got 150 shares or more. So I just wanted to let you know that I am aware that that happened. And um, Trudy Oliver was the big winner. So Trudy Oliver, if you're watching, you need to send me a message. Yeah, the heart button works as well as the like button, Cindy. That's a good question. Um, Trudy Oliver, you are the big winner in the drawing for one of my online classes. So how do you get that class? You're gonna go to my blog, www.astampabove.com, 
and you're going to go in the right hand column and click on the online class button and you'll see all my online classes in there. You email me and tell me which one you want or you can private message me or whatever. Um, private message me and tell me the name of the class that you want and I'll also need your email address because it's, an, it's a PDF file that I'll send to you and you will love it. It's awesome. And I think I'm going to do the same thing again. I am going to, if I get over 150 shares on this video tonight, I am going to give away another one of my online classes because they're awesome. <laughs> okay. Um, today is also, the besides being the last day of celebration, it's also the last day to order that $99 discount shopper kit where you get $175 of anything you want. Um, except celebration items. Those don't have a price tag on them, so you can't order them with your discount shopper kit. But you can pay $99 and get the discount shopper kit and get uh, and pick out $175 worth of product. What? Yeah, it's amazing. I've actually had so many people join my team during this promotion that if I told you the number, you would be like, oh. yeah, it's huge. So, Welcome to my team, all you new discount shoppers. I love you. <laughs> um, and who doesn't love getting a 20% discount on their stuff, right? If you were to take your orders and add them up and multiply them by 20% and see how much money you would have saved if you would just order this kit, it's kind of a no-brainer. So, no strings attached. Um, again, on my blog, right-hand column, go down to $99 kit. You'll get all the details there. I even have a video showing you how to order. So somebody just said something about international people. Um, can international people purchase your online class? Yes, Megan. Anybody can buy the online classes. So again, on my blog, online class button in the right-hand column, go check them out. Um, I have a lot of international people that are buying my online classes. That's one of the things that I can offer to you guys who follow me. I have a lot of followers in Australia, and the UK and I just had a lady message me that she follows me from India who knew so they can also purchase the online classes um, <laughs> D wants me to take my cold weather back <laughs> not a chance D <laughs> I'm ruthless like that um, yeah it's been really cold here so I can't uh, I can't say too much but I'm sorry that it's cold there too, but it is gonna warm up. It's gonna warm up now, right? We've got our fingers crossed for the warming up. <laughs> okay, um, I think that's it. I've got some cards to show you guys. So, oh, I don't know what, what, what that was. Okay, that must have been from last week. Um, okay, so I received a card from Cindy from Coos Bay, Oregon. She is on here tonight and ready. Are you ready for this? Boop! This is called a wiper card. Isn't it the cutest thing ever? Maybe I will show you how to make one of these next week, but they are simply adorable. And then look at the back of it. Cool, right? Ha! Hi, Steve Atchison. Steve is watching from the garage. It snowed. Trisha, where are you that it snowed? Oh, and Chris says it's 82 degrees here. Thanks, Chris. Just rub that right in. Anyways, um, Cindy sent me a card to thank me for the crackle background stamp that she won. So, again, wiper card. Super cool. Maybe I'll show you how to make it next week. I'm going to put that over here with my idea bin. I have an idea bin. Um, yeah, Lisa, it is cute, isn't it? Next, I have a really pretty card to share. And this is from Susie Fonder. Oh, look at this beautifulness. Are you guys ready for this? What? Yeah, so here's, here's a card like this sideways. But she did hers in the portrait mode. Isn't that cool? Yeah, very pretty. And um, Susie sent me a card because she won the Vibrant Vases stamp set. Yeah, so who just said I'm an international business person? Kind of, right? <laughs> okay, um, thank you very much for that card, by the way, Susie. It was really pretty. And then I got a card from my good friend, Melissa Stout. Isn't this beautiful? This uses the Needlepoint Nook bundle and that tufted embossing folder. Oh, 
Bonnie Braden says that it snowed in Indiana. Well, it snowed here on Saturday, so that was a little crazy, too. And Pennsylvania got it. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful card. And then I got a card from Susan Reed. Wait till you see this cuteness. Oh, hang on. Ah, who doesn't love glimmer paper? Yeah, isn't that pretty? And um, Susan put a note in here that said, da -da -da -da, thank you for the set I won from you. And she won this, this little birthday set. So you're very welcome, Susan Reed. And um, Susan also joined my team of discount shoppers or business builders. And I'm very glad to have you. So thank you for the card. Next, I have a card here from Lynn Hall. Bless her heart. Look at how cute this is. This uses the Butterfly Botanical Papers. Isn't this pretty? This is um, actually stamped on watercolor paper. So it's really thick and substantial. Yeah, pretty, right? Very, very pretty. And Lynn sent me a card to thank me for the stamp set. So, yay, lots of people. Lots of people getting free stamp sets. Hmm. Um, and then, last but not least, oh, I forgot to check my mail from Saturday. I hope I don't have anything sitting in the kitchen. Urgh. Oh, thank you, Susan. Um, look at how pretty. Oh, I already showed you guys this one last week, but I can show it to you again. Because I would like to thank Kathy Smith from Redford, Michigan. Kathy made me labels for all my punches. And Kathy, I just wanted you to know that I have put all the labels on my punches and I couldn't appreciate that more. And what is my husband saying? <laughs> okay, Steve Atchison. Okay, you guys, you have to tell me what did he just, oh, he just joined. Did he say anything? I hope not. You better behave yourself. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. These are all my beautiful cards, and I just wanted to, again, let Kathy Smith know how much I appreciated, um, how much I appreciated the tags that she made, the little labels, for my punches, and I'm still trying to figure out what's going on here. Okay, I don't know what my husband did. Mary says, hi, Steve. She's the one who made you cookies. <laughs> okay, I think that oh we have prizes to give away from last week too so Jane Freeman are you watching Jane Freeman of Lexington South Carolina she won for commenting some of our share what you love artisan pearls yay Jane I have this I have an address label ready to go out in the mail to you so I'll be going to the post office tomorrow. I have to take my really good friend and her mom to the airport, so I have to get up at like 7 a.m. Yeah, I, like, but she does things like that for me all the time, so I will gladly take her to the airport. Um, yeah, Mary and you are friends. Steve says, yeah, Mary and I are friends. And then I have, for sharing my video last week, is Terry Sampson. I have a lace dynamic embossing folder for you, and I do not have your address. So, Terry, you have two weeks to get me your address so I can send this to you. And if you do it right away tonight, you can private message it to me. If you do it right away tonight, I'll be able to get this out in the mail tomorrow. So that's exciting. And last but not least for um, the drawing for placing orders last week, I have Janet Whalen. You are going to get this wonderful romance stamp set. And this is such a beautiful stamp set. I love this one. You're going to love it too. And Janet is from Mattoon, Illinois. So congratulations to all my winners. And you guys are so sweet for saying congratulations to all my winners. That is good sportsmanship and I really appreciate it because we should all be happy for those who win, right? I'm gonna set that back here so I don't lose those. I think I'm ready to flip um, flip my phone around. I've got messages popping up all over my screen right now, so hang tight. I'm going to flip my phone around. I think that is all that I needed to talk to you about for all those little detail-y things, right? And 
we're going to talk a little bit about our upcoming big promotion that starts tomorrow. Super excited. So, um, Brooke just said her flight leaves at 6.08. Uh, I missed what you said, Brooke. I'm sorry. She's got a flight that leaves at 6.05, so maybe she said she needs to leave. Um, you can watch me later, Brooke. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Flipping the phone around. If you get motion sickness... Oh, I forgot to give you my report. What? Um, so, I am down a total of 21 pounds now. I know. And I can so tell the difference. Like, my clothes are fitting better. My belt on my pants, I used to have it at the very first notch. Now it's at the third notch. Um, everything fits better. I went shopping on Friday. And... I used to always have to wear extra large because I do have kind of big boobs. It's just a thing. Um, but now I'm I'm trying on large and sometimes they're too big. But I'm not ready for mediums yet. So, yay me! I don't know what my husband just said. Oh, good night. He's leaving. <laughs> okay, ready to flip the phone around. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I'll tell you when to open them up again. So I don't want anybody throwing up. Here we go. Hang on, I'm not ready yet. Now, oh, let me get this straight. I have to tell you that the host code, oh, I have to also unmirror my camera, so just hang on. There we go. The host code that's listed here, this is like obsolete. Um, I will be changing this tonight. You'll find the new code on my blog. And I'll, I'll do that tonight, too, so that it's up to date. But if you do use this one, I haven't closed it out yet, so it's not the end of the world. Um, new host code. Host code. I write little notes to myself. Do you guys have notes all over the place? Yeah, I do. So I'm going to put that on my computer so I remember to change it. But um, you'll always find it in the right-hand column of my blog. By the way, you guys can open your eyes now. <laughs> Sorry. You'll always find it in the right-hand column of my blog, and um, that's always the most current code. This one's going to be done because I change it monthly, but sometimes more often than that. So you just got to check there, and you'll find it. So this is what I wanted to show you guys. Remember, we have this big promotion coming out um, on my blog tomorrow. Uh, you will find all of the links to these flyers. So you can like print them out or at least look, them, look at them on your screen really big. But we've got a configuration chart for our new stamp and storage. And then here's just some ideas, a little, little bigger, different configurations. And then this, oh, and don't forget our floral grid paper it's beautiful. It's so pretty. It's going to be available for sale also April 1st while supplies last. Item code is 150819. So if you've got an order started, like you've been writing down stuff, you'll want this grid paper. It is so pretty. Like there's nothing better. Let me grab some. Than having the grid paper make your tabletop look so pretty when you're stamping. Look at how gorgeous this is. Doesn't it just make you happy? It's so make it, it really makes me happy. So, anyways, you can add that grid paper to your order. It's eleven seventy five. I'm pretty sure you get like a hundred sheets of it. It's a lot, but this is what you would use to your stamping surface so that you don't get ink all over your table or desk. So, this promotion with all this new storage is starting tomorrow, April first. And somebody just asked me a question. Hang on, I got my computer here. Is the floral grid paper the same size as the big grid paper? Let me look. I think it is, but I don't want to give you bad information here because we never like that. Yeah, it is. It's totally. So this is our regular grid paper, and I do use this. But this, look at how pretty that is. Just makes you happy. Okay. Let's get all these things put away. I don't want to lose them. And I am going to bring in some fun stuff. So the first card that I'm going to make for you guys tonight is, oh yeah, um, Darlis said, 
there are no, let me show you that again. There are no numbers on here. Like we have inches and centimeters on our other paper, but it does have like, this is a half an inch, half an inch, half an inch. So you've got one inch, two inch, three inch, but it just doesn't have any numbers on it. And I'm not really quite sure why. Um, actually, this way is the inches. One, two, three, four. So you do still have inches here, but I'm not really sure why Stampin' Up! did that. It's kind of weird. Okay, remember I told you that we were going to use the frog stamp set. I have to use it one last time, but I have a really super cool technique to show you guys. And I know you're going to love it. Somebody in my VIP group. So if you place an order with me, an order for product in my Stamping Up store, you will be entered in a draw, or I'm sorry, let me go back you will um, have access and be put into my Facebook VIP group. And in that group, I do a, an exclusive Facebook Live once a week. And I, it's just random. I don't have a set schedule. I just usually, usually it's on a Friday. I pop in on a Friday night, Friday afternoon, whenever. And I do a Facebook Live. And this last time, maybe it was last week that I did it, somebody asked me if I would show um, a certain technique. And as soon as I get all this stuff out and ready to roll, I'm going to show you that certain technique and tell you what it is. So, we've got all these fancy dancy products here that we're going to be using for this card. And I'm going to be using my rectangle framelits. I just love this cute little one. It's great for little greetings. Um, oh, I'm like, where did my card go? Oh, okay. Here we go. We're going to get all, all our little pieces. And then... <laughs> Sharon says she loves her frogs. And Ellen is at Disney. I love Disney. Like, Disney is my favorite place on Earth. Well, right next to Yellowstone National Park, because that's pretty pretty spectacular too. All right, so I'm going to be using the leafy um, stamp from the Home to Roost. This stamp set is part of Celebration, free with a $50 order. And I also have, I think I made two cards in my VIP group. Um, the videos are still there for those of you that are in that group with this chicken set and you can go see them, but they are phenomenal rooster cards. So you can check that out. And then here's the So Hoppy Together. This is... Um, free with a $50 order, and today's the last day. So for those of you that are going to be watching this later and you're like, oh, shoot, I wanted to get that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I have been showing it to you for three months. So <laughs> you've had lots of opportunities if you happen to miss it because you're watching tomorrow. I'm so sorry. All right, I have Petal Pink here. And um, Ellen said last week she watched me from Jamaica. I am very jealous. <laughs> and you are very lucky. Oh, Heather wants me to tell the funny story. What story? What am I telling? I, for I forgot. Remember, I have a terrible memory. So, Heather, refresh my memory on the funny story. I've got four and a quarter by 11, and I've scored it at five and a half. So I'm just going to fold that here. I like to do tall cards a lot. I just think they're something a little bit different, and I, I really do like them. And then I've got a piece of Whisper White that is four by five and a quarter, a piece of Mossy Meadow that is four by five and a quarter, and then I've got some scraps, Whisper White, Petal Pink, Mossy Meadow. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we are, oh, Heather, Okay, so Heather said the funny story from Walgreens. Yeah, I thought I said it already, but I, I probably didn't. So my husband goes to Walgreens to pick up a prescription. Walgreens is our pharmacy um, down the street. And he goes to pick up a prescription. And he walks into the pharmacy and he said, he, um, the pharmacy tech turns around and looks at him. And immediately turns right back around, goes over, grabs his prescription, brings it over and sits it on the counter and says... I know who you are. You're famous on Facebook Live. <laughs> My husband came home like, I don't know if I like that. I'm famous on Facebook Live. It was hysterical. 
um, because it was Heather who just said, tell the funny story. Heather is a pharmacy tech at Walgreens, and she waited on him. And, of course, she knows him from Facebook Live. So she said, you're famous on Facebook. So it was really funny. Hi, Paige. Um, okay, so this is our dot-to-dot -dot embossing folder. This is in the Occasions Mini Catalog, and I love it because I think it looks like alligator skin, and it also reminded me of frog bumply skin, right? Toads are really bumply. So I embossed this piece in the big shot, and this is what we have. And isn't that cool? Yeah, it is cool. So we've got that done. And then we have, whoops, just a little bit of stamping to do here and some die cutting. Where did my, oh, there's my printlets. Okay. So I am going to grab my Memento ink here. Oops, hang on. And the You Can Do Anything stamp. So I'm just going to, I'm going to actually stamp it this way. You Can Do Anything. Okay. And then... Um, 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 you're going to need a frog. So we're going to stamp a frog. And I'm just going to stamp my frog right up here. And then we are going to color our frog in. And I'm using the light granny apple green. <laughs> Bev likes the bumpily comment. <laughs> you know, bumpily. <laughs> I do like to make up my own words. Because that's a lot more fun than, you know, just using words that everybody else made up. <laughs> yeah, the bumpily frog. Toads are bumpily. I don't think frogs are really bumpily, are they? They're pretty smooth. They're kind of slimy and gross. Not that toads aren't gross, because they are. But we're looking at a cute frog right now, so it's not gross at all. And I just love the way these color and don't give you those horrible, childish little scribble marks. Don't you? You guys don't have any of these alcohol markers. Somebody just messaged me the other day and said, hey, I want to buy some of the alcohol markers. What colors do you recommend? And I said, well, I would get a green and then a pretty color for flowers. So whatever color you like to color flowers, whether it's red or um, yellow or whatever, but a green and then a pretty color and then go from there. Then just start ordering your favorite colors because... That's kind of the way I go about things. So, yeah, Kathy says, we make up words in Wisconsin. We do. <laughs> That's a redneck thing. Okay, so if you have the framelits that match the frog set, yay you, go die cut this. If you don't, however, this is a super easy little frog to cut out. It was no big deal, and through the magic of TV, I already have that done. So, I'll save this for something else. I'll cut that out later. I don't want you guys to sit here and wait for me to cut things out. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this kind of over at the side in my framelit. And so I've got this, I've got a little bit of room left over here. It's kind of going off the piece here, but that's going to tuck under something so it doesn't matter. Hang on, i got to turn off, let me turn off my um, little space heater and I'm taking off my little jacket because now I'm having a hot flash. <laughs> Sharon said she only has one set of alcohol markers and she needs this green. Yeah, I really like the granny apple green. Like there's a light and a dark and they're beautiful together. Okay, so we're going to die cut that. And then we're going to die cut in this shape. And I've already done it, so it doesn't matter that it doesn't fit there. And I've already done this. You guys don't have to wait for it, right? But I used the number four rectangle die. Where did those go? Right here. So... If you guys are new to me, or maybe you missed the um, video where I did this, I took all of my rectangles and I numbered them, okay? So I have from the smallest to the largest, one through eight. I use the number four on this piece, and then these over here are A through D, and I use the smallest one is A, so I use that for my grading. And that's just a good way for me to be able to tell you which. Oh, and this one's odd man out. And I, I haven't used it yet. <laughs> it's just weird. No, it's not weird. Okay, so here's our cool little technique. We're going to do this first so that it has a little bit of time to dry. I'm going to grab my balmy blue ink. This is my newest way of using ink. Instead of squishing it into the lid 
which is hard for a lot of you who might have some arthritis or weak hands. And I think the older I get, the weaker my hands get. So this was like a big aha moment. Squish a clear block in there and now you can take your ink off that block instead of trying to squish it into the lid, which is difficult. So I'm just going to take my balmy blue. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to it because I don't want it to be too dark. Got my aqua painter. And now I'm just going to come in here. See how I did that? I didn't hesitate. Don't overthink this part. People start dabbling around. This is just Whisper White cardstock, and it is not um, watercolor paper. So when you're using it with water, like I just did, you do not want to over brush it. I was going to say swipey, but you know, that's another Wisconsin word. You don't want to over brush it because it'll get really pilly and it'll be crummy. So when you're doing watercolor techniques on Whisper White cardstock, you have to like do it quick and get it over with. So don't overthink it. Just swipe it around and do that. Now, this is all, it might curl up a little bit too, but you can see I just pushed it back down. It's drying. It's going to be great. Life is going to be good with this. Next one I'm going to do I'm going to bring in my Mossy Meadow and, oh, Cindy, yeah, right? It is hard to squeeze these, and especially the new ink pads are harder to squeeze than the old ones were. So, yeah, just use the block. It's That, that was like a game changer for me. Now I've got from the um, Home to Roost, I love these little wheat sprigs, and I am inking those up in the Mossy Meadow and I'm going to stamp them. Now, in a perfect world, I wouldn't have stamped them in my water, which is what this is gonna be, but they could be like cattails, and those kind of grow in water, so maybe we're okay with it. What do you guys think? <laughs> yeah, okay, we've got that done, and now this is where the super duper coolest part ever comes in. Somebody asked me for a mirror imaging technique. They wanted to see how to do this, so I'm gonna show you how to do this. We're gonna take our frog, and again, I'm just using Memento ink, no big deal. You can't use stays on for this technique, but this is our craft silicone mat, and these are like, I don't know, three or four dollars, maybe they're, they're inexpensive, but you do gluing things with them. Like, you can get glue all over them and it'll peel right off as soon as it dries. These are super cool. I chose to use this for my technique. So I'm gonna stamp my frog upside down and you can see him right there. Now I'm gonna bring this layer back in. I can see through this and I am going to put this right on here. And because this is a non-porous surface, this will not dry quickly and look at Look at my upside down frog. Now you're like, Kelly, why do you have an upside down frog? This is the reflection technique, which is the same as mirror image technique. And look at my frog's reflection. Let me see if I can, well, let me get, let me get the dimensional off the back. I, I did put a dimensional on the back, by the way, and I kind of snuck that in there. You guys didn't see it. But um, look at how cool that is. Let me look at my screen, make sure you're seeing this. Um, there we go. Isn't that fun? Okay, so I have a couple more sample-y things. That's another Wisconsin word, sample-y. Um, this one is kind of ugly because I really, um, I didn't finish it, but I, I was just playing around trying to think what I was going to do with different stamps and this um, reflection technique or mirror imaging, which your mirror imaging this and also the trees, the horses and the trees. So I've got that. Oh, I'm so excited you guys like this. It's so easy. And then I did the running horse. And um, with this one, I just put a um, piece of paper here and sponged it. So I, I did a mask and like, so this is, but I, I don't know what to do with it. Like, I don't know. I was just goofing around, but I thought I could show those to you. And I said I wasn't going to show you the horse today, but it's when I had it out on my desk. So I'm, I'm not a liar. I didn't plan on showing you these. <laughs> I know you guys know I'm not a liar. Okay, so let's get back to our super duper cute little frog card because, well, he's stinking adorable. Now, what about this? 
So you can take anything. You can take this to the sink. You can wash it off. You can, I don't know, even know which. Oh, it was on that side. I just took my um, chamois and just wiped it off. You can wipe it off with a baby wipe. You can take it to the sink and rinse it off. It just comes right off. So now is your head spinning with ideas on what you can use this for? Like, like what stamps do I have that'll work for this technique? That's where my mind went as soon as, and I think it was Vicki that asked me about it. As soon as she asked me, I'm like, oh my gosh, what can I make with that? Like, okay, I need to think of, I've got one more card and I'm probably going to show this to my VIPs as an exclusive video. So if you've never ordered from me, get an order in so you can get into my VIP group and see all this cool stuff that I'm sharing with them. Um, and, and again, I'm sorry about people that are outside the U.S. who can't order from me, but this is a special um, video that I do once a week for the people who are contributing to my income, I guess, is a way to put it. Like, I need orders to stay in business and keep all these free videos coming for you. So just know that I have lots of free videos, but this is these are just kind of special for my customers who are placing orders. All right, next, I'm going to take and put dimensionals on the back of my rectangle layer. And lots of them, because this is kind of big, right? Don't forget, stick your fingernail in the middle of those if you have trouble getting that backing off. Sometimes they're hard to pick up, and it'll make the edge lift up on those dimensionals and help you get that backing off. So here's our greeting. And I'm going to come in here, try to get this lined up straight on that dimensional. So it's going to stick right to my dimensional back here. Okay, and then we're going to take that and I'm going to add, oh, I didn't even open my glue yet. Heavens to Betsy. Here we go. So yeah, funny thing about my weekend, and you guys will probably think I'm insane, but I just spent the weekend with my, my whole family and my husband's ex-wife and her husband and her two kids from her, um, marriage after she was married to Steve. <laughs> Who's ever done that with the ex-wife? So we go camping from time to time with my stepdaughter, Anna, and they have a, um, they have a permanent camper and so does her mom in the same place. So I do spend a lot of time with these people. Well, not a lot of time, but significant time with them from time to time. So yeah, I, all weekend stayed in a party house with my husband's ex-wife and her husband and then all the kids. It was pretty funny. And I'm like, oh, we got along so good. It was just nice and, you know, be mature. <laughs> okay, I'm using the Itty Bitty Punch Pack. Oh, is that what this is called? Darn it. Hang on. I can't remember. I don't know where my little paper went. Here it is. It is called Bitty Blooms Punch Pack. Whew. Okay. Bitty Blooms Punch Pack. Thanks, Vicki, for getting out that silicone mat item code because, um, yeah, I should have had that. It's pretty cool. So you get four little punches in here. This is available right now. Um, it was on back order for a long time, but it's back now. And wait and see what I make with this little peppy. I think you guys are really going to like this because I was pretty proud of myself. So I want two petal pink flowers. And I'm using the flower that has, like, I don't know, it's kind of thick with a lot of little petals sticking out. So one of those flowers, I decided I want to give it kind of a 3D look. So I've got my take your pick tool. And did you know that your take your pick tool has, it's got the spatula and the pokey tool end on it, but it's also got a stylus, a big stylus and a little stylus that you can pop in here and use, okay? So I'm just gonna take my flower, I've got it off the paper so that I'm hitting my piercing mat and I'm going to push right in the middle. And do you see what that flower does when I push it right in the middle? Yeah, look at how it just made all these little hearts. It's really cute. That doesn't happen every time, but you just want to indent the middle. And I'm gonna attach that to my card with a mini glue dot. So we're gonna do that. And then I'm going to kind of put that not you can see it's kind of up on my little greeting layer, okay? And then 
the Happiness Blooms Enamel Dots. If you guys haven't ordered any of these, throw them on your next order. You get, I don't know even how many, but there's a gazillion of them in here, right? And I'm going to use this because I don't have my pokey tool out there. I'm just going to take one of these little yellow dots and put that in the center of my cutie patootie little flower. And then once you have that on there, you can kind of squeeze that back up. We made it 3D for a reason. We poked it in the middle to make it 3D. So I kind of scrunched it up a little bit. This little flower, we're going to take our petal pink ink pad. Oh yeah, and Mercy just said that her brother's wife and ex-wife are real good friends. So there you go. <laughs> Janie has the same situation in her family, right? And um, we didn't always like do things like that. Like we want to do things together. But I think the older we get, the more it's like, nah, whatever. We want to see the kids. And I'm so glad that me and Steve went because it was such a fun weekend. We laughed and it was just crazy. Okay, so you want to sponge it on one side and then you're going to sponge the other side too. And you can just sponge half of it or if you don't want to keep track, you'll see in a minute what I'm doing. Keep track of it, sponge, sponge the whole thing on both sides. Now, I'm going to take this flower and I am going to, I didn't fold it in half. I folded up like a third of it. Can you see that? Let's see if I can get my light on there. Okay. Then I'm just going to put a little dot of glue in here. And we're going to push that down. Then you're going to grab your mossy meadow. And let's see if I can keep that down there. Um, there's one punch that doesn't have flowers on it. It has a circle and it has these little leaf looking things. So I'm going to punch out three leaves and three circles, but I'm not going to use the circles. But the circles can go in the middle of the flowers. So that's what that's for. At least that's what I think it's for. Somebody thinks differently, let me know, but that's what I've used it for. Oh, Vicki says she's having trouble concentrating now because her mind is buzzing with reflection stamping ideas. Focus, Vicki. Focus right here. <laughs> but I totally get what you're saying because that's how my mind works. It's like... Oh, what am I going to do with that idea? Okay, so now I'm going to take these leaves. See what I did there? I know this is a little putsy, but it's going to be worth it. So just hang with me here. And you know what? If you don't like doing little things like this, I think they make kind of all the difference in the world. But if you don't like doing them, then just don't do it. It'll be okay. But wait until you see before you make any decisions. Vicki, are you focused? You focus yourself back here with me. <laughs> okay. I might like push these out just a little bit. There we go. Oh yeah, that's what I want to do. Push them out a little bit. Okay. That glue lets you move them around, right? Oh, for Pete's sakes, I didn't have this much trouble making my samples. Um, hang on a second. That one doesn't want to stay there. Okay. So does that look like a little lily pad? I thought it looked like a little lily pad, and I thought it was adorable. So let me get it on my card so you can get the full effect. Full effect. Okay. I got a mini dimensional. I have. I don't got. Bad English. Bad. I have a mini dimensional here, and I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to set it right on the bank of my water. What do you guys think? Is that not so super cute? I love it. We have one more thing to do, so hang tight. So all these little extra things that bring your cards from, oh, that's pretty to wow, right? Wow. Okay. Hi, Pam Davies. Pam is my sister-in-law. She lives in San Diego, and I'm glad you could join us tonight. She is a phenomenal stamper in Scrapbooker. Oh, she makes the most gorgeous stuff. Love, love, love. Thank you, Luba, for the share. Don't forget to share my video if you came on later. Um, click that share button. That really helps me. I know, I sound like a broken record, but there's lots of people who don't get on right at the beginning, so I like to get everybody. All right, now, before... Well, let's do this. I'm going to cut this, and then I'm going to take my um, bone folder. Before I go any further, I'm going to curl my ribbon. And... Um, 
this twine will kind of curl up just like your curling ribbon, just like that. And I just like to do that because I don't like it to be stick straight. Well, sometimes I like it to stick straight, but just watch how cute that's going to be. So this is my little bow jig. And I have a video on YouTube showing how to use this, and you might have just seen me. You can watch it again later um, and stop it here and back it up and stop it and back it up or whatever. But um, my friend Denise's husband makes the bow jigs, and they are going to be coming back from Arizona this week. So if you could please wait until next week to contact me about getting a bow jig if you would like one. Um, don't contact me this week because I'm, I can't keep track of all that. <laughs> Like, I'm just going to, I'm going to tell you my shortcomings. Can't do it. Here we go. Are you ready? Again, so happy together. It is a level one celebration stamp set, and you can get this free with your $50 order. But only today, March 31st, because it's over tomorrow. As you know, tonight at what, 11 or 12, something like that. It's going to be over. Now, isn't this super cute? Right? See how that curls up? I think that's precious. Next, what I need to do is the inside. And what I did with the inside, I stamped the little um, dragonfly that comes with the set. I colored it with petal pink, which is the card base color, and our Granny Apple Green Light alcohol markers. And I'm just going to put this on the inside of my card, just like that. Yeah, so what do you guys think? Super cutie patootie. Yeah, Deb, I think it's midnight mountain time, but don't wait that late. Just get your order in before then because I'll tell you what, our website is already um, experiencing overload issues because there are so many people on it trying to get in last minute things. Um, so it's kind of an issue if you wait until the last day to order things. Oh, Elaine is telling Pam hi because Elaine knows Pam. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, super cute. Do you love, do you love my little Lily? I think it's sweet. Okay, on to the next one. Let me get this stuff cleaned up here a little bit. Well, I'll leave that there so you have something pretty to look at while I'm doing my thing here. Putting it all back in the basket. Now, all the dimensions and instructions and a full shopping list won't be posted on my blog until Tuesday because I have things going on. Um, but I usually, I was posting everything on Tuesdays and, uh, then I decided to, whoa, sorry. Wow. That was my metal ruler that just fell on the floor. I hope nobody like, I hope nobody's dog got scared. Um, but anyways, every Tuesday I will post all of the information and photographs. So you can see a good photograph because I know sometimes Facebook live. Um, can be a little grainy and you can't really see all the details. So check my blog on Tuesday, 6.30 a.m. It'll be there. And did I ever finish the conversation with somebody who said, um, what time is the class on Wednesday? I think I did, but just in case I didn't, it's just a post on my blog. It's not a class. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. See how that squirrel, that happens to me, and I can't remember anything. So yay me, yay me and my crazy... Lack of memory. Okay. We are ready for the next thing. You're gonna, you guys are going to love this. So, I received a card in the mail last week that I shared with you that I got from um, Judy Brown. And Judy, bless her heart, made me like this um, fun fold. And I thought, ooh, I should show everybody how to make that. So that's what we're going to do. Here goes our frog card. We're going to be using the How Sweet It Is. And then I paired that with just one of the greetings in here from the Picture Perfect Birthday. We've got our glitter enamel dots. And I just used these in my stamp club this week for the first time. And my ladies were like, what are those? Where did you get those? I'm like, oh, I should have been using these a long time ago. But I just, I have used them for personal use. But I, I didn't really show them to anybody. And they're glitter enamel dots. And guess what they match? Um, hang on. Where'd my paper go? Kelly lost her paper that I... Oh, right here. This How Sweet It Is Designer Series paper that is so bright and colorful. Yeah. 
those glitter dots have all the colors in it, right? They've got the green, the purple, the pink, and the Coastal Cabana. So you've got all these colors in this How Sweet It Is. That's what it's called. It goes along with this suite of Sweetest Thing, which is the um, apothecary jars. And thank you whoever told me what the names of those are because I didn't know that either. Um, well, I mean, I knew, but I couldn't think of it. But this and these papers go together. They're in the Occasions mini catalog. And there's also this adorable set of framelits. Oh, shoot. Hang on. I just covered up all my comments. Yeah, Patricia says, think your memory's bad now? Wait till you're 70. Yeah, I probably won't have any memory left, but meh. I'm on some medication right now, um, Patricia, that affects my memory. So I, I can only take that medicine for five years, and when it's when I don't take it anymore, I'm hoping that maybe... Maybe my memory will come back. I don't know. We'll have to see, right? <laughs> it's all a crapshoot. <laughs> okay. Here comes our layers. That's my little envelope. And here's all of our fun stuff. So, boom. Well, that doesn't look very fun, does it? Don't worry. You are guaranteed fun here. You don't have fun watching my show... I, there's no hope. <laughs> there's no help for you. <laughs> okay. Here's what we have. We have a piece of Whisper White thick cardstock. And I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer so I can show you how to do this. And we're going to keep our fingers crossed that I actually do it right. It's not hard. And I want you guys, after this video is done, it posts to my Facebook um, page. You'll be able to go back and you'll be able to pause it and let it play and pause it and rewind it so that you can see these measurements and see what I'm doing here. Now, Whisper White Thick Cardstock, and this is five and a half by eight and a half, so just a standard card base. And you're going to put this in your um, paper trimmer up to two and three quarters because that's centered. So in down the middle, we're going to cut a slit. And we're going to start that slit at one and an eighth inches. So I'm going to go up here. I've got my paper trimmer at one and an eighth inches. And we're going to cut down to six and three quarters, just like that. So this is what we have. Okay, just a slit right down the middle. Then this is only one and an eighth inches away from the top of the card and you can see that there's a bigger gap between the bottom of the card and where the slit ends. So we're gonna start on this end. So we're flipping it this way. We're gonna put it in here and we are going to score just this half up to the slit at four and a quarter. Just like that, okay? I hope you guys can see that. So I've scored it like that. Now we're gonna score just this side of the slit and we're going to do that at one and an eighth. So I come over here to this side, make sure your cardstock is in there straight because that's really important. And you're just gonna score up to the slit. And then we're gonna score at two and an eighth up to the slit and then three and five eighths up to the slit and five and one eighth. I'll read these again to you. And I'll also put them in the description above this video so you don't have to stop and start and stop and start and write them down and think you missed something, okay? So as soon as the video's over, I'll put these dimensions in there and hopefully they'll make sense because it's hard if you're not looking at this, okay? So we've got a score line, 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 and a score line. It's not hard. Trust me. I want you to try this. Get out a, just a crummy piece of card stuff and do it on there first until you see exactly what you need. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do some stamping. And where did my, oh, here's my, here's my thing. I'm going to bring in my gorgeous scrape ink. And then I'm going to need this one open, which is Melon Mambo. So in the stamp set, the sweetest thing, we've got Make It a Sweet Celebration. And I thought the perfect place for that is right across the bottom of the front of my card. Just like that. Oh, look at the end. 
Let's see if Kelly can fix that because my end didn't. Oh, my end didn't have any ink on it. I think I can still fix it. Let's try. Hang on. We'll see how good I am. Photopolymer stamps you can do this with. Or if you have it in your Stamparatus, of course. <laughs> yeah, I rocked that, didn't I? Okay. Yeah, Kathy Stanford says she always practices on crummy cardstock. And I do too. And yeah, Sylvia, this is like a stair-step card. But it's different than anything I've ever made. Okay, so we've got that. Now we've got a scrap of Whisper White here. This is an envelope. Scrap of Whisper White. We're going to bring in this cute little frame and we're going to ink that in the gorgeous grape. And then this set also comes with the happy birthday. That's going in the melon mambo. And we're going to stamp that right in the middle there. And then we've got two little um, um, label frames. I couldn't think of the word. We've got this one, which is big, and then this one. So we are going to die cut that, and uh, hang on a second, because, oh, this is a different project. That's not the project I'm looking for. Okay, hang on, I've lost my little pieces, but they're here somewhere. Oh, here they are. I'm like, what did I do with them? So you're gonna die cut that label and I've already done that. Okay, so we've got that done. Push this aside. So we've got this, and you're going to put dimensionals on the back of it. So I've got that done. The other thing that you're going to need with this is I've taken some of this cute designer paper. So this is the purple with polka dots, and this is the giant suckers and candies and cupcakes. We're going to use this side. This little piece is... Um, three and an eighth by two and five eighths. And then we've got these two striped pieces. The bigger one is one and three eighths by two and a half. The smaller one is one and an eighth by two and a half, okay? So we're gonna take these, put your adhesive on the back, and we're gonna put this one right here. just like that. We're going to put the bigger one, that's the smaller of the two striped ones. This is the bigger one. And we're going to put that right up here. This piece is going to go from the score line down. Just going to put this little piece right here. Hang on, I got it crooked. And this again is why I like my glue, because I can get things straightened out in the right place. There we go. Okay, and now here's the deal. You're going to take this one and push it down. Okay, this one's going to come up. This one's going to come up. See what we have going on here so far? This one's going to go down. This one's going to go up. This one's going to go down. Oh my gosh, isn't that just the coolest? So let me show you. Up, down, up, down, up, down, and one, just like that. Okay. Then we're going to decorate. I'm going to take this label, and I'm going to put this right here. And then what did I do? I took this pretty paper with all the stuff all over it, and I fussy cut some of these images out. Now, if you don't want to fussy cut things out of there, or if you're not good at fussy cutting, or sometimes people's hands don't allow them to do fussy cutting very well. I know Lisa said that she doesn't have a very steady hand and that creates problems for her. Um, you have all of these little apothecaries and all of these little candies that you can die cut. There's a sucker, there's a sucker outline, there's all kinds of cute stuff here that you can use instead of what I'm going to do. But I wanted you to see how super, super simple this was. So I cut out these little candies and we're going to put those on the front of our card just like this. 
Hang on, I'll show it to you in a second. I know it kind of popped right back up there. Oh, Claudia. Yeah, this is a very interesting little layout. You will you will love it. And I really do encourage you to give it a try because the first one, when you make something, the first one is always the one that you're like, huh? But once you get that template made, then you'll, you'll get it. It'll like go, oh, I see what you're doing. Okay, then we've got the cupcake that I cut out. And the nice thing about these images is that they have a white outline around the cupcakes, the suckers, the candy. So it's really easy to cut them out because they have all that white space around them. So that's what made this really um, a lot easier to cut out than your average designer series paper, right? Okay, here comes the other cupcake and I'm just putting some glue on the bottom of the back of the cupcakes. Here comes my next one. Let's do this. I'm just gonna put it right in here. Just like that. I've got two suckers. Now this sucker, the stick was really short because my sucker was kind of on the edge like this and so the edge of the paper cut it off. That's a perfect one to use on the front of the card where I'm gonna put it because I needed a taller one and a shorter one. So look at that, nobody even knows that there's no stick there. And I just put dimensionals one dimensional on the sucker part, didn't even put any glue or anything on the stick part. And look at that, look how cool that is, right? Easy peasy, are, are you guys with me? I think you're with me yet. Okay, and then I cut out some of the gummy bears and I'll have to tell you my little story. So I got my, um, my sample card all done, like it was finished and I was like, oh, this is so stinking cute and I smeared purple ink on it. So guess what? I put a gummy bear over it. <laughs> and of course it was the perfect solution to fix my mistake. Okay, and then I'm gonna do maybe, let's see, I wanna put one more little, let's do this, let's set this down. I'll do one more little gummy bear right there. This makes it easier for you guys to see. Sorry about that, I just wasn't thinking about it. And then I've got a couple jelly beans. And you can sit in front of the TV and cut out these little images if you're into fussy cutting. If you're not, you know, stamp and use the use all the framelits. That's what they're for. But I just wanted to show you something really cute that you could do with the paper. Okay, and now, here we go. Look at that. Is that not the cutest thing? What are we going to do with the back? I wanted a greeting on the back. So we're gonna lay this back out flat, and that's where the picture perfect stamp set comes in. And I'm going to use the gorgeous scrape, and I'm gonna stamp, today we celebrate wonderful, brilliant, fabulous you. And again, that's from the picture perfect birthday set. If you guys are new to me and you weren't around when this was in the catalog um, last year, it's still in the big catalog, but it was a mini catalog last year. This is one of the best birthday greeting stamp sets. I love the funky little greetings, and I love the bow, and you've got candles. Um, I'm gonna do a horn blower here in a second to show you. It's just a really great set. Okay, and then that set also comes with little sprinkles. So I'm going to use Melon Mambo and add a few little sprinkles here. This is gonna be, oops, hang on the back of our card so we can sign it here right to it, who it's to and sign it. This all fits in an envelope. So let's take that envelope, which is right here, and I'm gonna do the horn blower image that is in the stamp set, and I'm just looking for, I don't know what happened to it. Okay, um, we've got the stripes here, and I think, yeah, don't you hate it when you lose stuff? I do that all the time. Like, all the time. Okay, so I'm gonna go like this with my horn. And then I've got my little sprinkly things. The little fringy deal goes on the bottom of the horn. Oh, isn't that cute? And then there's even the little blower part. Oh, and that's where I need my Coastal Cabana. I knew there was a reason why I had that out. 
and this fits right in to there. <gasps> Look at that cutie patootie. So what a cute little envelope for this to go in, right? And it folds right up. Everything fits right in an envelope and you can mail it in the mail. So this is called a side step card. But it's a little bit different than the ones that I have made before. I know it, the, um, the fun fold has been around for a while. But isn't that just cute? Okay, so, and this was the card that Judy Brown sent me that gave me the idea to make this one for you guys. So you could see how to do it. Now, um, make yourself a template so you have all your score lines down and you can look at it and go, oh yeah, now I know what to do. Okay, you can stop and rewind and go back to this video once I've posted it when I'm not live anymore and you can pause it and go back and forth until you get all the things down and I will put the dimensions into the description above the video when I'm done. However, because of the, um, it's tricky to type these instructions up into words because they're, um, they can be a little confusing. So you can just watch the video again when it's available after I'm done. I know I keep saying that, but it's the truth. Now, I've got something else super duper cute to show you that goes along with this. Was that my, oh, this was that envelope I just made. Okay, so we're gonna leave this out here for a minute. And then, let me move this. Oh, what are these for? Let's get those out. We need to put these on our card because they match perfectly. So I'm gonna grab one of the purple ones. It just really matches all of these colors in this designer series paper and my ink that I used. Super duper cute and let's grab, oh let's grab a green one, I like the green one. I'll get a little one. I told you guys about these and then I forgot to use them. Look at that, how cute. Well, thank you, Bobby. Bobby says she's seen this fold before, but this one is just so darn cute. I really thought so, too. And I thought it would be super cute with these apothecaries sticking up back here, too, which you can stamp and die cut if, you, if you're not into fussy cutting. But you want to make sure you get yourself some of this. This is the How Sweet It Is Designer Series paper. And like I said, it's really easy to fussy cut these because they have the white outline around most of the images. And I just love these little pieces of candy, too. Okay, next... Hang tight, because I got something really cool to show you. Um, here comes my little packet. And I gotta make sure I keep all these directions handy so that I can type them up for you when I'm done. All right, now we're gonna make something to match this card. And I gotta get these out. Okay, first thing I've got here. This is the designer series paper. We're actually going to use the brighter, is that what I decided is the brighter color? Yeah, I think the brighter color. Yep. And um, this piece is three inches by two and three quarters. And we're gonna add, whew, I'm hot. Um, some tear and tape. Did you guys see the tear and tape? It's oh here it is. I'm like I know I took it out of the basket. We're gonna add some tear and tape to the shorter side edge. So here we go. Now if it runs over a little bit like that, you're just gonna want to trim it off with your scissors. Yeah, I know what you're saying, Terry. Terry said this card is so amazing. Um, but it's a little intimidating. It is a little intimidating, but please do give it a try. I have so many people who say, oh my gosh, I could never make that. Yes, you can. You just saw me do it. I empower you to make the card. <laughs> do I have that power? I don't know. So I've got some breath savers here. You could use lifesavers, um, real pretty, all colorful that would really go along with this paper too. I just peeled off the tear and tape and I'm going to take this designer paper and I'm going to roll it up really tight just as tight as you can keep that paper nice and tight and get it under the where it's you know it keeps going in there 
roll it up and it's gonna look just like this, okay? Next, what we're gonna do is we've got two pieces here that um, this one is one inch by three and this one is three quarters by three and these are both granny apple green. So what I'm gonna do here is you're going to cut about, I don't know, like, hang on, I got tear and tape all over myself. Eighth inch intervals. I could say that's about right. So a, a little more than halfway down your paper. So we're just gonna cut, 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 cut. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating. Like, I'm really sweating. I'm having a full on hot flash right now before your very stamping eyes. Oh, I wish I could turn my fan on. I'll be okay. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I haven't melted all together yet. It's coming. Okay, so just keep doing this. And you're going to do that on the other piece too. Oh, look, and I ended up really good. We're going to take, I've already done the other piece, so hang on, let me get it out of the bag. I don't want you to have to wait for me to do all that. So we've got one inch and three quarter inch by three on both of these. So we're going to add tear and tape to the bottom part that you didn't cut all the way into. And I'm just going to trim this off. You guys are going to love this. It's so adorable. And then we're going to do the same thing to this piece. Just like this. Oops. Careful with it because sometimes if you get too close to the bottom, it'll try to it'll try to fall apart on you, but the tear and tape is gonna help hold it together too. So don't whoops, don't cut too far too close to the bottom. You don't want your little dealy whopper to die. Okay. Then we've got this piece. And I wanted to use this as my outside. So I'm gonna take this piece and you're gonna fold each side into the middle and it's just a guesstimate. Now, if you wanna score this, you can. I tried that and I was, my math was wrong and so I wasn't very happy with myself and I'm like, oh, for Pete's sakes, just fold it into the middle. It's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. So that's what I did. This one's not gonna be perfect either, so. <laughs> Welcome to my world. There we go. It's a little bit overlapping, but it, it should meet in the center. This isn't going to hurt a thing. Now you're going to open it back up and we're going to take tear and tape and tear and tape is your best product for this. And we're going to put that on the in on the bottom, not on the tab that I just made on the side there, but on the bottom. So we're just going to put that right in there and we're going to do another one. You want this to be good and sturdy, just like that. Hang on, I got more tear and tape on me. And then I'm gonna, let me trim this a little bit. I hate it when it's short, but I really hate it when it runs over the edge. Okay, here comes our tear and tape. Just like that. Did you like that sound effect? Here comes another one. There we go. Bold. Fold, okay? Oops, that didn't fold very good. What's going on? There we go. It should really meet in the middle. It'll work better if it does. Now, I'm going to grab my bone folder and you are going to very firmly, this is really um, very strong now, okay? Just curl it like this, okay? So I've curled it, that's what it's doing. Pretty cool, right? I am going to take a piece of tear and tape and I'm going to put it under here so it's curling into it a little piece of tear and tape and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to curl this end around my pokey tool just something little a pen pen will work fine I just want this to be wound up a little bit tighter than it is and when you do that it's gonna look like this you can pull it out a little bit isn't that cute Okay, let's tear that tear and tape off of here. Because this is our next step. And I'm going to put this right over the seam on my breast savers. Okay, are you guys getting it so far? Isn't this cute? And then here comes this one. 
This is the bigger of the two. And I just peeled my tape off and I'm again gonna start right in the middle here. And I'm going to try to keep this so that it's gonna be straight. Don't pull on it too hard because remember, you got all those little slots cut in there. You don't wanna rip this. Okay, are you with me so far? Now we're gonna take this one. Did I miss anybody's um, questions? Because my computer isn't like scrolling like it should. It's not keeping up with the questions. Oh, Darla said she never had hot flashes. Good for you. Well, I think I get them. The day I started taking this medicine I'm taking, I started getting hot flashes. So I think that has something to do with that too. So yay me, no memory and hot flashes. Woohoo! Okay, we're just gonna make this meet up. The back, everything's beautiful. Now, you're gonna wanna take these and bend them down a little bit, just like this. And what do you guys think? Is that not the cutest thing ever? Can you see giving this to somebody with their birthday card? Like, make a matching birthday card. Make a matching little blow horn thing. That's what it is. It's a little blow horn. Just like we have here on the front of our envelope. Super duper cute. Do you want to see the other two that I made? Hang on. I'll show you. Here we go. Here is a purple one. Again, this share with, or um, how sweet it is designer series paper. And here is another one that I made. Same paper. Yeah. Super, super cute. Okay, so we have our Reflection Technique Frog Card. And we have our um, Side Step or Stair Step Fun Fold Card. And then we've got these cute little blow horns to match. I just had to make these for you. I think they're so sweet. I actually got one of these several years ago, and this is why I tend to hoard things like this. I got it several years ago from um, one of my demonstrators and one of my team members, and I thought, oh my gosh, this would be so cute using this paper. So that's why I decided. That's what sparked my memory that I had it, and I had to make it. All right, so don't forget to share my video. Um, don't forget today is the last day of celebration. So the celebration sets that I use tonight include the frog set and the uh, home to roost set, neither of which I can find right now. Oh, here's the home to roost. <laughs> like, I don't know where anything is. Do you guys have like complete chaos in your office too after you do stuff like this? Like, I don't know where that other stamp set went. Nah. The frogs. You know what the frogs are. You can get the frogs or the rooster set free with your $50 order. I always appreciate your orders. Thank you so much for your support. It's what keeps me bringing you free videos. Um, absolutely love that I can do that. Did I miss anybody's questions tonight? Let me know. I am looking at um, comments right now. And I'm so sorry if I did miss your question because... It's really hard to um, keep up, especially when my computer doesn't scroll the messages up like it should. Yeah, Kathy says you never get that internal furnace when you need it. I know, right? Like earlier today, I had my space heater on. I was freezing. I can't get a can't get a hot flash then. Ugh, terrible. Okay, um, I'm looking for questions. I don't think I have any questions. I hope that um, you guys enjoyed these projects. I hope you have a wonderful week. Make sure you check back on my blog right here, blog. You'll also find an online ordering button in the right-hand column of my blog if you'd like to place an order. Um, but make sure you check back tomorrow. And I will have um, the Color Fusers blog hop. And I am using, what were those colors again? Uh, Mango Melody. Pineapple Punch, Melon Mambo, and Very Vanilla. This should be very interesting. Because <laughs> I have no idea. No clue what I'm going to make. But it'll be fun. I guarantee it. I, I really do like um, the challenge of these color challenges. You're welcome, Carrie. Yeah, and Betty Meyer says that my work area looks like a bomb went off when I finished stamping. Yeah, you should see the rest of this. <laughs> I can at least walk. I don't have stuff all over the floor. I've been trying to keep my stuff really um, cleaned up 
and put away because my mind just feels clearer when I have a nice area to work in. And I'm also trying to figure out where I'm going to put that giant paper cutter. Urgh. Yeah, I don't know. But anyways, I still haven't got it working. I don't know how to even use it. <laughs> I haven't had time. I have so many things going on this week. I am actually... Um, I'm having lunch with Shannon West from Stamping Up this week. She's going to be in Wisconsin, and she invited me out for lunch. And what else? I have to take my friend to the airport and be at her house by 8 a.m. tomorrow. So I'm more than happy to do that for her. I have a conference call at 9, another conference call at 9.45. And I don't even know what's going on the rest of the day, but it'll be busy. So, yeah. Um, and did I mention that I love my job? I really do. I love all of this. Even um, even just sit and cut and paper. I love it because I'm my own boss. I make my own hours and I get to play with you guys. I get to interact with you on Facebook. That's like one of my coolest things. Facebook Lives have really become one of my favorite things to do. And when I have to do a Facebook Live not live, like it's just not even any fun. <laughs> like It's not any fun when you guys aren't here with me. So anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. It's 8.30. You have a wonderful week. Don't forget to check back tomorrow on my blog for that color challenge. Don't forget Wednesday. I've got a cool technique. I'm going to use the horse set again, I think. Unless my idea just doesn't work. <laughs> and then I'll explain. But um, I think it will. And um, let's see. Friday, I should have a feature, uh, Friday feature video. I, if I don't have a blog hop on Thursday, then I do a feature Friday video on Friday. And don't forget on Wednesdays, when I do my Wednesday, wait, what, tip video, I also have a joke of the week on my blog. And I always hope that brings you a giggle because um, laughing is good for the soul. It's good for the heart. It's good for the mind. And uh, everybody should laugh a little bit more, right? Lighten up and laugh. Yeah. Okay, you guys, I'm going to take off. I'm getting dry. I am going to uh, go say goodnight to my husband. He usually goes to bed about this time, and then I'll get my butt in gear with that vlog hop challenge. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a good one.